Okay, uh, step nine of your basement drawing. Now, some things that you need to know, we're going to start working on the joists and the columns that you need to be putting in your basement. Now, the joists are, if you look in your basement and you look up at the, the ceiling, if your basement is not finished, you'll see wood that goes across from the basement wall to a beam and the beams are supported by columns but right now we're going to just talk about joist span now a joist span is the distance that a piece of wood can go without breaking okay so there's a chart um, in your folder where it says fourth quarter and basement this chart right here it says uh, Joyce quiz because there's a chart and then there'll be a quiz that I'll have you guys do and up and uh, upload to Schoology when you're done. But let me explain everything for you. Okay, the next thing, Joyce span, which is right here, is 16 inches on center. That means that the wood in your basement, when you look up at the ceiling, those joists are spaced from the middle of each board to the middle of the next board, 16 inches on center. Now, the reason why that is done is for strength. And plywood that goes on top of the joist comes in multiples of 16. So if you have a four foot sheet by eight foot sheet, it'll fit exactly in the middle of each one of those joists. Now, if you look at this chart, it has a live load and a dead load. So you wanna think of a dead load of the weight of the house, um, of the roof, of the walls, those are all dead loads. Live loads are variable, like uh, furniture and uh, the snow on your roof. Um, those are just different types of live loads. Now, what we do is we add those two together and we get 50, okay? 50 pounds per square foot. Now, we're gonna look on the chart and we're gonna go to 50. So we're gonna use everything in this column. And the next thing we're gonna use is 16 inches on center, which is right here, okay? And now the next thing we have to look up is the span. So if on your basement, you wanna find the distance, um, and if the span is, let's say it is 20 feet. So our span is 20 feet. And all the span is, if this is your house, okay, we have a column down the center and the joist goes like this, okay, and this is 20 feet and this is 20 feet. So our span is 20 feet. So we look for our span, okay, and we have right here, 20 feet, five inches. So we know that a, 16 inches on center and our span of 20 feet 5 inches we would need to use a 2 by 14 okay because if you look down here okay so our floor joist floor joist size is 2 by 14 okay and that's conventional lumber now um the way you would show that in your basement is you would draw an arrow like this in CAD, and then you just write F and J 2 by 14 inches, 1606. Okay, so the next part you're going to do, if you don't have any questions, if you have any questions, make sure you email me with this, is on this page is a quiz. So if you if your joist span is blank, what is what size joist will you need? So the first one I'll do with you is 18 feet. So we go back to the chart. So we're only using this right here. So once again, 16 on center and our span is 18 feet. See 17 6 is not enough. So once again, we have to use a two by 14. So the answer for this 
would be 2 inches by 14 inches. Okay, pretty straightforward. So there's 10 questions. Um, I'll have the quiz up there, and you can fill it out and upload it for me. Thank you.